Hi, welcome to this episode of Mindscape TV. Today uh, I'm joined again by Jim Buchanan, Digital Marketing Specialist here at Mindscape at Hannah McKendry. And today we're going to be talking about uh, search query reports in AdWords, right, right. Jim? And yeah. um, kind of some of the basic insights you can gain from those. Uh, it's one of the tools on AdWords that uh, can really kind of help you craft your campaign uh, a little bit better. And uh, Jim will be talking a little bit about kind of how to read those and what insights you can gain. But first, my gift. I have with us today a Mindscape Ninja Drive, as we like to call them, so that you can become a digital marketing ninja yourself. We are open and accepting uh, topic ideas. So if you submit us a topic any way you can, Twitter, Facebook, leave us a comment on our video. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If we do end up producing that episode, we would be very happy to send you this wonderful Ninja Drive for all of your files and miscellaneous digital assets. So, there you have it. So Jim, tell us about search query reports. Okay, search query reports are pretty powerful for your campaign because they can give you a lot of added insights beyond just you know what keywords are driving clicks. They can give you uh, some more ideas. Um, First, I'll show you how to download a search query report. Um, this is set for all my online campaigns now, so and uh, click the keyword um, tab here. So this is all the keywords associated with all of our campaigns. Mm -hmm. And to download a search query report, we go to keyword details, and under search terms, we'll click all. And then here's our search query report, and all we do is hit that download, and it'll download for us into an Excel file. Mm -hmm. So when we get an Excel file, it's going to show us a lot of data. I've taken some of the columns out of here that we didn't, we don't really look at very much, uh, to make it a little bit simpler. Uh, here's an example of a search term report. So these are terms that people have typed into the search engines that have triggered uh, an impression of your ad. Your ad has displayed it. They may or may not have clicked it. Right. And then that's what some of what this report will tell us. Right. Okay. And uh, I have organized this report for click-through rate at the lowest to lowest to highest. Basically, it takes the how many times your ad has displayed divided by how many times people have clicked it. Right. Okay. So if you have 10 impressions in one click, your click-through rate is 10%. Right. Um, Google shoots for a, um, a good conversion or a good click-through rate at 1%. We like to go, we like to aim for two to 3%. Okay. And you'll see here, the first thing I look at in this search query report is what keywords or what keywords are not triggering ad or are not triggering clicks to ads. Okay. Okay, so as we look down here, I'm not going to worry too much about keywords that have one impression. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so someone we get up to like nine impressions without a click, I'm going to look at that keyword, and here's one with 23, and I am definitely going to have to rethink that keyword. If, okay. it's, if people are searching for that and my ad shows up multiple times and they're not clicking on it, I'm not going to use that keyword. That's going to that's going to lower our quality score, which can raise the price of the bid. So I'm going to rethink that keyword. Okay. So there's a good tip. Probably the, one of the most effective uses of this report, right, is to identify where your ads are showing up, but people aren't clicking through. So you're going to want to make sure that you, you know, rethink that. Maybe add some negative keywords, whatever. Kind of do some more analysis there to figure out, you know what can be done to get people to click since it's obviously triggering an ad. Right, exactly. So another thing we're going to look at here is the number of conversions for the keywords that have been typed in and also the conversion rate. We kind of, we like to shoot for a conversion rate of three to five percent. Again, that's high compared to Google who likes as said they like a 2% conversion rate, mm -hmm. but remember they also like to flood the AdWords campaigns with uh, keywords. Sure. So um, a good conversion rate, again, three to 5%, and I'm gonna look through here, through our conversions, and see that our, the keywords that are converting are all converting 
pretty well, a good percentage of the time. Another important metric is the cost, cost per conversion. And that is extremely important because if you have a, a product that sells for $20 and you're spending $22 in clicks to sell your product, you're not going to last very long. Right, sure. So it is very, very important to keep track of your cost per conversion. So you need to set up conversion tracking, of course, and really keep an eye on that. I mean, if you're, because conversions don't tell the whole story, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we, right. there we have to figure out some math here and uh, we want everyone, you know, you want to be making money. So you have to work in your margins and make sure that the uh, cost per conversion is low enough for you to be profitable. Right, sure, okay, good tip. One of the things we first wanna look at too is the number of clicks that, you're, that the keywords get, and that will just tell you, if you're not getting any clicks, again, your, key, your quality score is gonna go down, which means your bids will go up. So if you're, not, if you're regularly not getting clicks on keywords, I would consider just removing them from the your account okay so I think that's one important thing is you know if you if you are triggering ads but people aren't clicking that that does impact your quality score which can raise the bid price right yes. Yes. so there's something to be monitoring in here as well because you don't you want to tightly manage that so that you can keep that cost per click as low as you possibly can. Right, and, it, and there's other things you can do too. If it's a broad match keyword and you're not getting any clicks, you could change that to an exact match or a phrase match and, and work with it that way. Mm -hmm. But if you're not getting clicks for that keyword, that's really telling you that it's not relevant to the visitor. Right, right. And we do have an episode of Mindscape TV that talks about match type, so you can check that one out. This is also, this search query report is also very important for building a negative keyword list. Um, again, okay, so how would we use that, how would we use this to build a negative keyword list? Again, we want to look at conversions. We want to okay. look at a couple of different columns here. We want to look at keywords that are not converting, but getting lots of impressions or clicks. Okay, so we're looking at conversions, clicks, and impressions kind of all in one swoop here to right. identify maybe some terms that aren't relevant, triggered our ad, and, but you know maybe we don't want to show up for those. Right, so for example, here's one uh, where the keyword, or the ad has over a thousand impressions for this keyword. Uh, has eight clicks, not very many clicks. That's a poor click-through rate, and it has no conversions. Okay. So that those three things together kind of tell me that 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 keyword is not relevant to our visitors. Mm -hmm. So we would either we would consider now that's an exact match. So uh, that tells me we've also gone through the phrase and uh, phrase and broad match. So. I'm probably going to take that keyword out. Okay. Or, again, we need to look at a landing page then. Right, sure. And the ad, because everything has to work together to be relevant, and something is not with this. So I'm either going to look at that or just remove, remove the keyword from the account. Okay. All right, anything else? This has been, I think, really helpful as far as understanding the importance of this search query report and kind of how to extract some insights from it, building negative keyword lists, um, helping keep that cost per click low. Any other tips? Um, again, for negative keywords, um, here is a, a good example of where I would like to add a negative keyword. Well, we're not showing you the keyword because of uh, uh, clients, but they have a location. Their services are nationwide but they have them in certain locations. This keyword has a location where we're not. Where we don't have a physical presence. Right. Okay. So they're looking for a spot in New Jersey based on the keyword because New Jersey is in that keyword. We don't have a physical location there, so I'm gonna put that New Jersey in my negative keyword. Okay. So now that ad will not show anymore. 
Because if people in New Jersey are looking for a service and are willing to send, willing to come to Michigan for that, they're just going to look for the service and not that geographic right. location. Right, sure. If I'm searching for service in New Jersey, I'm searching for something in New Jersey. I'm not going, I'm not willing to drive to go uh, acquire that service. Right, generally that's the case. And, okay. and you can really tell that by the clicks and no conversions. Right. I mean, if you're getting clicks and conversions, then you then those people are. That, I mean, that's what you have to look at, because uh, you have more than just one piece of information that you can you can help to uh, bolster your punch or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So okay. I would run this um, at least once a month, depending on how much you're spending, how much data you're you're building, because we don't want to look at it after a week when you only have 50 clicks in your your whole all of your campaigns. Mm -hmm. We want to have some data to make some good decisions about this. So um, we recommend a month or um, at least a thousand impressions, but this should be done pretty regularly to to help sculpt your your account. Right, sure, great, okay. Jim, what about content ideas? That's a great question too. Um, a lot of times, users will search for, they'll put in questions because they're looking to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that we'll look through, the keywords that have triggered an ad. Um, if they're asking questions, now if I'm selling a product or if I want people to sign up for something, I'm not, that's really not a relevant keyword to me, but it is giving us some good insight. So if we have somebody typing in the same question 10 times that have uh, triggered one of our ads, we know there's a good shot or a good chance we should create a page for that on our mm -hmm. site or video or whatever yeah, create that, some know. kind of content that that addresses that question not that we're going to put it in our AdWords account but we know if people are searching for that we want to organically show up sure that. yeah so we're going to we're not going to make an ad group or not make it uh, um, we don't want to pay for those clicks but we definitely know that there's people out there searching for this and we want to give them that information Right, so you're gonna extract kind of some content ideas to help, you know, on the organic side from this stuff as well. Exactly. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, so pretty powerful report here. Run it once a month. Uh, you can get content ideas for helping answer questions, uh, build negative keyword lists, um, using some of those clicks keyword or in uh, uh, conversion rates. You can kind of figure out how to tightly sculpt your AdWords campaign. Exactly. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of Mindscape TV. Please comment or like our videos. Subscribe to our channel, Mindscape HM TV. Join us on social media, Mindscape HM on Twitter and Facebook, or visit our website and read our blog at mindscape-hm.com. Again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.